It's time for another Slayer update. I'm nearing the end of Act 4, and I'll be moving on to Epic soon. So this will be the last update for Normal. I'm level 39 now. My last update, I was 34. We can take a look at where points are going. Attribute points, I'm still doing one-to-one -one Strength Dexterity. So I have 32 more Strength and Dexterity because of my items. So I think that's fine. For skills, in hunting, I'm sorry, in warfare, I only took one new skill, and that's Battle Rage. I really just wanted this for that 33% offensive ability, and the more points you put into it doesn't change that. It always stays at 33%. The uh, chance of activating also just stays at 8%. So the only thing that would go up with more points is that damage. So I really, the 33% offensive ability, when this triggers, which really isn't all that often, is really going to give you more critical hits because you should be a, have higher offensive ability than pretty much all the trash mobs. So you're going to see those yellow damage numbers going up. That means you're critical hit. At some point I might throw some points into the other stuff, but at least not till Epic or when I feel like all the important stuff's out of the way. So dodge attack, I'm at 15%. And here's an important one, ignore pain, 16% physical and pierce resistance. There's a lot of tough archers, a lot of, and you know they use spears too, so there's a lot of piercing damage in Act 4. In hunting, I didn't take any new skills, but I bumped up Study Prey, so I'm now at 46% reduced resistances on Pierce and Physical. Something that I also think is important over here is Find Cover, so 25% chance to avoid projectiles, so one out of every four arrows or any other kind of projectile is going to miss you and that really helps when you're getting shot at by four or five archers at a time. I bumped this up wood lore so I got higher defensive ability and attack speed. So at some point I will probably get called the hunt. I just don't think I really need it probably until epic but that is something I will get at some point. So let's look at some gear. I got a new shield just a little while ago. Vengeance is a monster and frequent grants quick recovery upon taking damage which is a really really strong skill I had been using this companion's guard but it really doesn't protect you much only 78 damage block 10% chance I'm giving up the one to all skills in hunting that was nice to have but I think it's time for a better shield I'm gonna put this relic on here rigid carapace I also like these um, turtle shells but that, I never even finished one on this playthrough that's all I got was four pieces. So let's put that on there. It'll give me some pierce and bleeding resistance. This helm is a hallowed Lamian helm. Now it's 42% vitality damage resistance, and that's the low end of the scale. It could go as high as 60%. So if you wanted one of these, you could find one at the vendor that's probably better than this, but it might take you an hour worth of vendor, vendor farming. I made a few Typhon runs. I got Ring of the Shang, which is a pretty nice ring, but it's the only thing decent I got off of them. I did end up wearing this Warlord's coat. I couldn't find, I really didn't get any bre good breastplates to drop, so I put a relic on it, and I'm going with it. It's not too bad. This spear, Soul Spike, I found just a little while ago, too, from a Mel Melano. Melano. I had been using the Ichthian Harpoon, which actually gives me a little more damage but with this one it has some attack converted to health and I have cut down on taking health potions so I'm liking that and the same ring other ring as before same stone binders cuff same necklace I did I, I had a green one I tried for a little while with a relic but I ended up going back to this so that's it for gear it, and it has been going pretty well and let's go do some gameplay we'll finish up act four and we'll talk about like some of the things I don't like about the build, but for the most part, I really like this character. Alright, so let's move on. I have a portal down because I ported back from Prison of Souls. I just reached it. Okay, let's go up here first. There's some generals in here. I only fought one of them so far, and he was pretty tough. Got some spiders to deal with here. 
Most things are going down pretty easy. Oh, you know what? I think I forgot to mention. I did take, um, I did take takedown, and it does some good single target damage. But mostly, I want it for the speed. So now I have my war wind and takedown for that quick movement speed. All right, let's go back down. See, these guys, they like to run away from you, and this is one thing that this is character's a little weak at. You don't really have a good way of dealing with these archers, other than trying to get to them quickly. And getting hitting them one at a time. That is kind of annoying. You see a lot of yellow, a lot of um, critical hits. And that's coming from the study prey here, the flush out portion lowers their defensive ability. There's even a portion of Onslaught. Which one is it? Here, yeah, reduce 20%, sorry, 16% reduced defensive ability. So you're gonna have higher offensive ability so you, to the point where you're gonna critical hit quite a bit. Not really any problem with these Agantes at all. I haven't run into a Dactyl yet. So when that Warwind works, it works really well. But sometimes it doesn't go off right or it misses. And that little bit of attack converted to health really keeps me from having to use too many health potions. Because before, like between fights, I would have to have to take the health potions. All right, let's go up. I think there will be a general out this way, a little further on. Sometimes it, my study prey doesn't want to cast right either, where it has a delay. See, that was like a while after I hit the button before it gets on, and sometimes I'll move and I'll interrupt it. So some casting speed would probably help that. All right, I'm. See right here. My quick recovery went off. That's that's a really good defensive skill. Got to remember to put this on. Whoops. I did something wrong there. Okay. Yeah, I hate when they run away. Now, I think maybe um, I didn't really focus on bleeding damage yet, but one thing I think it might have been worth going for a little bit more of the bleeding damage because you could hit these guys once and they run away, but the bleeding damage over three seconds can kill them, so you don't have to chase them down. So I noticed a lot of times they would just have a little tiny bit of health left, so a little more bleeding damage would probably finish them off. All right, so there's a general over here. And I want to um, try to pull some of his guards away first, if I can. So I don't want to get shot up by all these archers while I'm fighting him. Now, if he comes through by himself, I'm okay with that. All right, come on over here. He's strong. No, don't run back in there. Yeah, he's tough. Don't underestimate him. Man. So you can see that if, if I was fighting him with all these other guys around, I probably wouldn't have survived.
So that stun from the horn works pretty good against the archers, but uh, it has a long cooldown. Okay, so there's still another general to get through. And you know that uh, battle standard is a really nice buff, but it gets destroyed a lot. So it doesn't help you once it gets broken. right now not sure where I want to go you know what I could do I'm tempted to take this call to hunt but I I don't have any really good places to put it you know what I think I am gonna take it cuz yeah I don't think there's any more activated skills I'm gonna have after and one in here and what else do we want? I could put one here for the bleeding because I didn't... Uh, yeah, why not? Throw one in there. That is kind of a long cooldown too. The uh, Warden's coming up here pretty soon. Just see where I'm at here. Oh, I think he's over here, that other uh, general. I don't want to get his attention. I'm not sure how close he is. I think oh, he's right there. Okay. And my um, ancestor warriors aren't ready yet. I want him to come over here. So my be in range of my battle standard. Can't hit him. He's moving all over the place. Alright, he was probably the easiest of all the generals. The first two were pretty strong. The middle one, the one I just fought, he was the worst. Looks like he took... I think I lost a buff. Oh, you know what I did? I screwed up. I didn't put Call the Hunt there. I actually... <laughs> I put Art of the Hunt there. Oops. Call the Hunt. So when I clicked it on, I actually clicked off my other buff. Frequent fire resistance, strength, defensive ability. I'll hang on to those. I'm going to spend a couple of these. I'll do a strength dexterity. All right, so now we can get back as I finish this area. go down pretty easy they're not they don't have all that many hit points though anyways they do a lot of damage but they're not that strong they hard to kill there's my quick recovery went off and my battle rage yeah see this is a one of the drawbacks this chasing these things around that's kind of a pain. It'd be nice to have something that could take care of them a little better.
Might almost be worth having a uh, bow as an alternate weapon. So you can shoot them down instead of chasing them all over the place. I'm gonna get him without the warden. Oh well, look at another one. Another piece. Lightning resistance, dexterity, defensive ability. So I got their shield, now I got their legs and arms. Vindicator. I haven't seen a dactyl yet. Double Apex green weapon. It's my third crystal of Erebus, I believe. Yeah. Life leech, vitality damage, energy leech. So I didn't use my uh, Ancestral Warriors there because I know the Night Maid, Night Mistress is coming up, Hades is coming up, and I want to save them for one of the two. So right now, my uh, Vitality Resistance is 62%. I could switch out to this shield, max it out, but I think 62 is plenty for this. But you want to have something going into the, like these the her, the night mistress, and Hades. You got to have some pretty good vitality resistance. And I'm going to try to lure some of those away, but I don't want to hit her with my study prey. All right, I managed to get two. Yeah, I think I got the other two. Okay. Alright, now it's going to be her. I'm going to use... I'm going to save the warriors for Hades and my Art of the Hunt, so I'm just going to go with Battle Standard. I can't get my study prey to go. There we go. Wow, she went down really easy. So there's the Soul Stone. I got all four of the stones now do the Hades treasury quest. And I see a dactyl. Okay, I wish I had my battle. Okay, battle center will be ready again pretty soon. Now they changed it. I, I don't think they used to have those stars over their head. I think that's a recent change they did. They're making them look more like a hero. Yeah, come on out of there. Come on. Keep coming. I want you by yourself. Yeah. Tried to s suck me in there. Woohoo. Damn. My takedown isn't going. Jesus. Those guys are brutal. My health potion isn't even giving me getting me back to full health. I might have to use my warriors on him. I think he's going to be tougher than Hades. He can he can use that spell quite a bit. There it goes again. I want him to come out here. I don't like fighting him on these stairs. 
that's getting ridiculous. And I can't get... It might have landed that time. Sheesh. Ugh. I hate fighting those things. Alright, got... Got one of their breastplates with a rare affix, transcendent. And it's a nice looking breastplate. I mean, well, actually all of their stuff is pretty cool looking. And I can't wear it at not high enough level. Man, it's a 42. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way. Okay. No more of those. And the regular ones are like butter compared to <laughs> a dactyl. Let's see what we get for a bonus. You hope for the plus skills one. Uh, Eight percent. See, I really don't care about that. Eight percent increased experience. I mean, to me, that's like a, I got a waste. I got ripped off on that one. By the time I'm already forty, I mean, why do I need increased experience now? Really, I mean, I'm not in a hurry. I'm in a hurry in the beginning to level up, but not at this point. Okay, what do we want to do here? Have my warriors. Let's do call the hunt this time for sure and make sure it's the right one. You will pay for your yeah, I'll bet I will. <laughs> Come on, I can't get studied for that. See, I can't cast study phrase, drive me nuts. It took me like four or five tries. It's enough time to get you killed. Alright, so, you know, I stood toe to toe with him, and I couldn't do that with a dactyl. So that was the toughest fight of this whole playthrough, was that dactyl. Of course, I didn't take on Toxius yet, but. He's imminent. He's not much worse than a dactyl. You have defeated both a Titan and an Olympian. From this day forward, you shall be known as God's Bane. We leave the afterlife in the hands of your... Alright, so I'm really liking this build. The only, Like I said, the only thing I really don't like is having to chase around like archers. Uh, they're hard to catch. Uh, you're going to have that problem with a lot of different characters. You know, anything that focuses on one target, if you don't have any some kind of good area damage spells or abilities. But I'll be back in Epic, probably toward the end. I'm not sure exactly where, and we'll see how this is going. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.